The new trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet was packed with info and within it we were introduced to two new Pokemon and our first Paldean form. Hey, I'm not so ace trainer and what about Paldean Wooper, Fido and Satitan? Let's get into it. We are going to start this with everyone's favorite Whoopie boy, Paldean Wooper, or Pooper as it's been called. This new form of Wooper is a poison and ground type Pokemon with the abilities Poison Point and Water Absorb. It is defined by the Pokedex as a poison fish Pokemon. This new form still looks like it is inspired by Axolotls and possibly by the Iberian Rib Newt, a Newt that exists in the Iberian Peninsula and Morocco, and that has sharp ribs that can puncture through its sides and poison its target. The spiky gills and the fact that it is defined as a poison fish makes me think of the Greater Weaver or Peixaranha as we call it in Portugal which loosely translates to spider fish, which is a type of fish present in the coastline of Portugal and Spain that is known for its very very painful sting. By looking at it, we can see that its head and gills now form what looks like a skull and bones pattern, commonly used to indicate that something is poisonous or hazardous. The question now is, will we see a Paldean Quagsire or a completely new Pokemon? I hope it is the latter, honestly. But now, let's move on to Satitan. Satitan is a new Ice-type Pokemon that has the abilities Thick Fat and Slush Rush. The Pokédex defines this Pokemon as a Terra Whale Pokemon. Its name, Satitan, is a combination of Cetacean, the infra for whales and dolphins, and Titan, as in big. Judging by its appearance, this Pokemon may be inspired by the Ningen, a cryptid from modern Japanese folklore invented on the one and only internet, that is said to be similar to a walking whale. The horns on its face shows us that there might be some inspiration taken from the Narwhal, a type of toothed whale that has a large tusk. While its white color might make us think of Moby Dick, it makes me think of Gaspar, the first white Iberian dolphin that was spotted in the beaches of Porto in Portugal, although we are looking at a whale and not a dolphin. Whales are also part of the fauna of the seas near the archipelago of Madeira and the Surge, as well as the Galicia. Funnily enough, Operation White Whale was also the name given by Interpol and Europol to a money laundering operation that was happening near Costa del Sol in Spain, though so that's probably not the inspiration. And last but not least, let's take a look at Fido, LeChonk's replacement as the love of the Pokemon fandom. Fido is a new fairy type Pokemon and it is defined by the Pokedex simply as the puppy Pokemon and with the ability on tempo. Its name is a mix of Fido and Doe. Fido is a very common dog name and famous for the sad story of an Italian street dog that was taken in by a man named Soriani and nursed back to health. They adopted him and named him Fido, meaning faithful. Fido would always watch as Soriani entered the bus for his job and be there to greet him when he came back. In World War II though, there was a bombardment and Soriani lost his life. Despite this, Fido still went there every day to the bus stop for the following 14 years until the end of his life. There is even a statue in Borgo San Lorenzo honoring Fido, the faithful good boy. As for its design, clearly Fido is inspired by Uncooked Doe, as the website says that it has a smooth, moist and elastic skin. Its ears resemble pastries and could be inspired by the ensaimada, a type of Spanish pastry that is shaped like a spiral, or pão de Deus, a Portuguese sweet bread with an egg and coconut topping. The fact that it puffs up in order to intimidate its opponents, it is a nice reference to how Doe puffs up after leavening. And that is all I have for you about the origins of Fido, Sir Titan and Paldean Whooper. But tell me, what is your favorite out of the three? Let me know in the comments down below. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. You can follow me on social media and Twitch, I stream there Wednesday to Sunday, not Saturday, or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.